Hi, Jared Santos here of the Coach PH. Remember to click the subscribe button to be updated with our latest videos. Hi guys, today we're going to compare TD Ameritrade, eToro, and Interactive Brokers to determine who is the best broker for global investing. In terms of account minimum, TD Ameritrade is zero. For eToro, you need about $200 to $500. Last year in 2020, it took me $200 to open an account in eToro. But my friends say that now, the account minimum is $500. For Interactive Brokers, it is also zero. In terms of coverage, TD Ameritrade covers US stocks, ADR, and OTC. I'll explain that later. For eToro, there are about 800 plus stocks internationally and other instruments available. For interactive brokers, it mostly covers all markets. In terms of trading fees, it's zero for TD Ameritrade for regular stocks, 0.01 to 0.03 for ADR and 6.95 for OTC. Let me explain what ADR and OTC mean. ADR stands for American Depository Receipt. ADR offers investors a way to purchase stocks in overseas companies. So this is an example of an ADR, C Limited. As you can see in the upper left side, it says ADR fees. So C Limited is the company behind Shopee and Garena. Suppose you want to trade or invest in C Limited, the commission would be 0.01 to 0.03 per trade. Now let's go to OTC. OTC stands for over-the-counter. For OTC, they are companies not listed on a formal exchange. They are traded via a dealer network as opposed to on a centralized exchange. Let me give you an example. One OTC pink sheet example is Humble Inc. As you can see on the upper left side, it says OTC pink. So the commission of TD Ameritrade for this OTC stock is $6.95 per trade. Now let's talk about eToro's trading fees. There's a 0.10% spread. So what does it mean? Let's take Tesla as an example. Last February 16, 2021, the stock opened at 818, the high was 821, the low was 792.44, and it closed at 796.22. I generated this chart using TradingView. If you want to open a TradingView account, click the link in the description box. How would this look like in eToro using the spread fees? They say that they charge zero commissions, but they have spread fees. This is what it looks like in eToro's interface. It's the same stock, Tesla, at the same date, February 16, 2021. It opened at 817.26, the high is 819.94, the low is 791.59, and it closed 796.22. You will be able to sell it at 795.71, which is lower than 796.22. If you want to buy, you will be able to buy it at 797.29, which is higher than 796.22. Now let's compare these four points to the real price on the stock exchange. So this is Tesla and let's compare them. The stock opened at 818, but as you can see in eToro, it only opened at 817.26. There is a 0.09% difference. For the high, the real price is $821. For eToro, it's 819.94. That's a 0.13% difference. For the low, the real price is 792.44. And in eToro, it's 791.59. And there's a difference of 0.11. Closing price is the same. So what does this mean? Though eToro does not charge Mission, they have spread fees. When you buy a stock, you buy it higher in eToro and when you sell a stock, you sell it lower in eToro. For interactive brokers, the trading fee is 0.005 per share with a minimum of $1 per trade and a maximum of 1% of the trade value. Let's talk about the margin rates. But before that, what does margin mean? Margin is basically borrowing money from your broker to buy securities. Just keep in mind that there's risk in doing margin. You can lose more funds that you deposit in the margin account. For TD Ameritrade, the margin base rate is 9.5%. For eToro, it varies per security. Consider this example. Suppose you want to invest or trade the Japan index. There's an overnight fee of 0.49 daily and a weekend fee of $1.48. For simplicity, the weekend fee is three times the overnight fee. That's Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. As you can see in this example, there is a times two leverage, meaning the trade is on margin. To compute the margin rate for this example, that would be 0 0.49 times 365 which is equal to $178.85. Since the borrowed amount is $1,000, the margin rate would be 17.89%. For interactive brokers, the margin base rate is 1.57%, which means it can even go lower if you have a higher account value. Now let's talk about account maintenance fee. Basically, for TD Ameritrade, there is no account maintenance fee. For eToro, suppose you don't touch your account for 12 months, you will incur 
an account maintenance fee charge of $10 per month. IBKR has monthly account maintenance fees. If your account value is more than $100,000, there will be no account maintenance fees. If your account value is less than $100,000 but more than $2,000, the monthly account maintenance fee is $10 less the trade commissions generated for the month. If your account value is less than $2,000, the monthly account maintenance fee is $20 less the trade commissions generated for the month. Now let's talk about funding. TD Ameritrade, you have to go to your local bank and do an over-the-counter transaction or you can also transfer from your US dollar account. For eToro, you can fund your eToro account with your local bank or your debit and credit card. But as of today, eToro already gave a notice that they will remove the local online banking feature. For interactive brokers, it's pretty much the same as TD Ameritrade. You can go to your local bank and do an over-the-counter transfer or you can use your US dollar account. Let's talk about withdrawal fees. TD Ameritrade charges $25. For eToro, it's $5 but the minimum withdrawable amount is $30. For interactive brokers, you have one free withdrawal per month and they will charge you in excess of this free withdrawal per month. Let's talk about the company type. TD Ameritrade is a brokerage. eToro is a CFD provider. So what does CFD mean? CFD stands for contract for difference and CFD lets you participate in the price action of a stock. But this is the major risk. You don't own the underlying share when you trade CFDs. What does that mean? Suppose you trade a stock like Tesla or C Limited, you participate in the price action. You gain as the price goes up, you lose as the price goes down. But the added risk is you don't really own the underlying share. Suppose as in the future something happens happens to eToro and it suddenly goes bankrupt. We don't know if that will happen or not. But if it does, then that also means that you will lose the money that you have in eToro. And that's the CFD risk. As opposed to the traditional broker like TD Ameritrade or interactive brokers, you will only lose the amount you invested if the company that you invested in goes bankrupt. Let's talk about copy trading. TD Ameritrade and interactive brokers does not have that feature. Yet eToro has that. The copy trading feature of eToro lets you copy a position of a selected individual. For example, this is a popular investor named Jay Nemesis. If you want to copy him, you click the copy button and every trade that he makes will be reflected on your account. If he buys a certain security, your account will also do the same. If he sells a certain security, your account will also do the same. For 2020, his performance was 103.51%. Year-to-date March, his performance is 10.26%. That's a copy trading feature. Although TD Ameritrade and Interactive Brokers does not have the copy trading feature, one alternative is to invest in exchange traded funds. If you want to learn more about exchange traded funds, watch this video that we created in the past. And lastly, let's talk about order entry. For TD Ameritrade, you can basically enter an order 24 7. That means that even if the market hours are done, you can put an order entry before, during, and after market hours. For eToro, it used to be the same, but now you can only trade during market hours of eToro. For interactive brokers, it's also 24 7. I've gone through the account opening process of all three platforms. Assuming you submitted all the documents required, eToro has the easiest account opening process, followed by IBKR and then TD Ameritrade. In terms of user interface, eToro has the most user-friendly platform, followed by TD Ameritrade and then IBKR. If you plan to get serious with trading or investing, might as well go with brokerages such as IBKR and TD Ameritrade. So which broker is the best for you? These are questions that you should consider. Number one, how much are you willing to invest or trade? If the amount is less than $2,000, I suggest that you go with TD Ameritrade to save on account maintenance fees. If you go with interactive brokers, you will incur an account maintenance fee of $20 per month. That's $240 per year, equivalent to 12% of fees, which automatically puts you at a disadvantage because you need to make 12% per year just to break even in fees. If the amount is more than $2,000, then I would suggest that you go with interactive brokers or TD Ameritrade. Which markets do you want to trade? Because that will determine which broker will be able to provide that requirement. IBKR has the broadest range in the exchange that you want to participate in, whether it's Asia, Europe, or America. Next is, do you intend to use margin? If yes, then IBKR would be the best broker for you. And last, do you intend to trade cryptocurrency? IBKR and TD Ameritrade does not allow you to trade cryptocurrency. It's either you go with eToro or look for other cryptocurrency providers. But personally, I think the best platform for a beginner investor or trader is TD Ameritrade. If you want to open an account with TD Ameritrade, the video link is available in the description box. If you want to open an account with interactive brokers, click the video link in the description box. Remember to pound that like button if you learned something new today. If you have any questions in this video, 
please feel free to comment below. Thank you for watching. Click the subscribe button and see you on our next video. God bless you.